All right, so a couple things I want to address within this video because I kind of feel as though my raw reaction, for the most part, I was on par with everything that was going down. I want to kind of talk about a couple of different theories that are out there regarding the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super, episode 47, and the identity of Black Goku and kind of what's been going on with all that because in the intro, they included a couple different images of a new character. It's a Kai. He kind of looks like, you know, the normal Supreme Kai, the young guy or whatever, except his skin is green and his hair is white and one of the things that that alludes me to immediately is the comments that we got a couple months back from Akira Toriyama where he was talking about initially he was going to make the Super Saiyan God form Super Saiyan White. It was going to have white hair but that it would clash with an upcoming villain that he wrote that has white hair. Bam! Right then and there it makes me think wait a minute that Kai that was introduced in the intro that we haven't seen yet in the episodes has white hair and he also has an earring on he has one of the earrings and we don't necessarily know if that's the Patara earring you know the fusion earrings or whatever but he has an earring on as well so it makes me think okay he gotta have some sort of connection to black because black in this intro this episode whatever he was introduced you see he has an earring and he kind of looks like a young slimmer Goku he looks like a younger Goku and it could be that he's either a split of fusion with this Kai. It could be that this is the Kai of death and time. Maybe he revived Goku in the fucking past or Trunks' his timeline. He revived him and made him evil or something like that. There's a couple different scenarios, but whatever the case may be, it has something to do, I can almost guarantee, with this Kai, and it's possible that this is a rogue Kai. He's a rogue god or a rogue Kai. He's bad, and he has something huge to do with Black Goku. Either that, or it's the exact opposite, and maybe Black is trying to get him. Maybe his name is White. Maybe that Kai's name is White white black bada bing bada boom bada bam kind of makes sense with Toriyama and all the puns that he likes to come up with another theory that's been floating around is that black is Goten an, an adult Goten while in theory, it kind of sounds really interesting because Goten's character is lacking a lot. I mean, the most special Goten was, was when he was first introduced as a Super Saiyan. It's like, the youngest Super Saiyan of all time, yeah, and stuff like that. But it would make his character more interesting. However, it can't happen. One simple fact is, in Future Trunks' timeline, if people don't remember, Goku died years before any of the events of how he created Goten. Goten was basically conceived a few days before the Cell games in our timeline. That never happened in that timeline, and he was never mentioned. There's even scenes, if you watch the history of Trunks, where Chi-Chi was kind of like, you're all I have left, and then you see the photograph of her, Goku, and Gohan. So, Goten was never born in that timeline. Does it mean that 100% Goten can't be black? No. Does it seem very highly unlikely? Yeah, because again, he doesn't exist in that timeline. So, for it to be Goten or somebody like a Kakarot child, it would have to come from another universe. Maybe it's the Universe 6 Kakarot or Kakarot son from Universe 6 something like that or another universe in general or it could be that this is not exactly the same future trunks timeline like it's still pretty much the same in a sense that yes that's future trunks yes that's the one we've seen in z but remember there's just multiple layers every time something changes it becomes a whole new path so it could be that there's something very drastic that was changed and that's still the future trunks we know but there's some differences in his timeline because it's not exactly the same person it's just a different version of the same person that we know so that that's a possibility as well, but honestly, I don't think it's Goten at all. I think it's just way too many problematic aspects. Another thing it could be Goten is if Toriyama simply forgot. I mean, Toriyama is a very forgetful dude. I don't know if somebody could have said, hey, 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 that character doesn't exist in that timeline. It doesn't make sense. But then also, you got to look at Mai. Mai should not be that young. She's young in our timeline because of what happened in Dragon Ball Super or Battle of Gods when she was wished to be young or whatever. But... In that timeline, she should be an old hag because in GT, she was old as fuck. And if I'm correct, in Trunks' timeline, it's a little bit further in time than even when GT starts. And she was old as fuck in GT, and she should just be old in general. So there's kind of a little discrepancy there regarding Mai's age. So it could very well be that Toriyama forgot. Again, if that's the case, it would just be horrible. And in general, the Goten theory is just very implausible. It just shouldn't happen or whatever. And as far as the episode goes, honestly, I stand by what I said with my raw reaction. It was phenomenal. I mean, the big it's where we go back to the present day or you know our timeline and stuff like that it was okay the biggest thing that we did get was about the omni king and how you know he's just incredibly strong wiping out universes and stuff like that so that was probably the best information we got but yeah it kind of dipped into like the excitement that we had with trunks and like everything that was going on so i kind of wish that we had way less of those scenes of like our timeline because it was just kind of like not really necessary when we're getting this very incredible you know dark scenario with what's going on in trunks's timeline and <laughs> dark it was i mean again bulma dying 
dying in the first couple minutes, Mai dying towards the end, and it kind of makes me think because in the intro, we see Mai, and it was hyped up about Mai, this and that, so why would you kill off this character that was just introduced, adult Mai, if you have plans for her and she's in the intro and all this stuff, so maybe there's going to be some more time jumping, maybe when we get back to this timeline, we might get back a little bit earlier to save future Bulma, something like that, but in essence still, this episode was phenomenal, and the theories that are going around really makes me wonder who the fuck is black, is it one of Jerome's experiments that he left behind yet again that copied Goku, and that's why he looks younger, is it another universe Goku, is it Goten from another universe or another timeline, like what is your theory about it, again the Goten one is the least likely, I mean just watch the history of Trunks, you'll know why that is impossible, and to sum it up my overall thoughts, it was it was great, honestly no less than a 9 out of 10, if it wasn't for those bits of like Goku eating noodles and shit like that, this probably would have been a 10 out of 10, but it was still one of the best things out of Dragon Ball Super period episode 47 show to change in the tone of this show and I'm loving it. And your overall thoughts, theories, who is black and what's up with that Kai with the white hair with the earring. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fnub World and as always people, have an awesome day.